everyone, so in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys a cool way to organize all of your kitchen, or I'm sorry, your cooking utensils and cooking gadgets inside of your kitchen drawers. Now, I recently discovered a brand new product that when I saw it, I was like, whoa, this is just like the coolest thing ever. I have to try it out, see if it works. Um, and I tried it out and I'm loving it. It's it's awesome. I am I'm a creative person. I'm very visual and I like to see things to know that they still exist because I'm a very out of sight, out of mind person. So if, if I can't see everything, then to me, I don't know, I have it and then I won't use it and then it's gonna sit and it becomes clutter. So, um, so if you're a creative person, if you're the same way, visual, then you are gonna love what I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, so let me show you guys my kitchen drawer. Ta-da, look how beautiful this is. I feel like every time I open up this drawer, it's just like total eye candy to me. Everything just has its own home. Um, nothing moves when you open and close the drawer. Like I could just slide the drawer shut and then open it and nothing moves out of place because um, you have these little dividers that's holding everything into its place. Now, let me kind of tell you about this product. Um, it's a brand new product that, well actually it's brand new to me. I think it's been on the market for like maybe one or two years, but I recently discovered it and when I saw it, I was like, wow, I need to try this out. Um, this is so cool. You can see exactly what you have. Everything has its own place and um, it was just cool and it comes in like different colors. You can mix and match like the mat with like the dividers. So I think it has like five or six different colors. I'm not sure, but um, I liked the purple the best. So yeah, I got that one. Um, so basically it's a rubber mat at the bottom of the drawer and you have little dividers that move. So everything is just like rubber. So it just stays into place. It's kind of cool. Like nothing doesn't fall over or anything. Um, there's no like adhesive, there's no magnet, nothing. It just it just stays in place. It's kind of like magic. Um, but the dividers come in three different sizes. So you can mix and match um, your dividers depending upon what you're storing. So um, what else was I gonna tell you guys? Oh, so when I first saw this, I, this, I saw this product or this idea, I kind of felt like, well, I feel like I could just, you know, I feel like I could store more stuff without this mat. Um, which is true, I could probably stick like 10 more utensils in here and everything would still fit perfectly. Um, but then I thought, well, then I can't really see what I have. Like I like, I like being able to just like open the drawer and immediately see everything I have and find what I have. Um, it just saves time and you're more productive when you're in the kitchen instead of like fishing around, uh, you know, moving stuff to try and get what's in the back. And plus the drawer just, it never gets stuck because you know, you're only storing things in here that fit. Now, if you find that when you take things out, like for example, I'm gonna take the whisk out or take the measuring spoons out or the ice cream scooper out. If you feel like you're not gonna know where to put things back or if your kids are unloading the, the dishwasher and they don't know where things go, your spouse is doing the same thing, then all you have to do is just take your label maker and put a label here and write whisk. So, you know, you know where to put things back. So you know that the whisk is gonna belong here. But, um, you know, before you do that, you wanna make sure that you find the perfect home for each of the items so you're not moving the labels around when you're moving um, the utensils around. Okay, so another cool thing about the product is that you can actually, you can cut this rubber mat to fit the size of your drawer. So everyone has different size drawers, so you're gonna need like, you know, different size mats and, and different number of dividers, different sizes. So you can actually cut this really easily. It's a really thin piece, piece of rubber. You just cut it to the size of your drawer and it, it fits perfectly. Another thing you can do, um, which I did, was I put a little piece of museum putty on the bottom of the mat in the corners. Um, so the mat wouldn't slide when it's inside the drawer if I didn't cut it perfectly. Like there was a little bit of a gap um, the front of the drawer. So putting a piece of museum putty will, um, will hold the mat in place. Nothing on top will actually slide, but the mat might slide if you don't cut it perfectly. So you can buy this on Amazon. If you go to my website, alejandra.tv slash products, you will see the link to the product on where to buy it. Okay, so that's how I'm organizing all of my cooking utensils and cooking gadgets inside of my kitchen drawer. So, um, like I mentioned before, I rather have one drawer of stuff that I frequently use, like on a daily basis and weekly basis, just inside that drawer and have it be more organized than try and cram and stuff everything, like all my kitchen utensils and kitchen gadgets inside of one drawer and then have things stacked on top of each other, have things like get stuck when you open and close the drawer, and then when I'm cooking, like have to shuffle around and fish through the drawer to find exactly what I'm looking for. So, um, I, so I feel like 
less stuff in one drawer, more organized, is better than having more stuff stuffed in one drawer and not be able to find what you're looking for and have the drawer get stuck when you open and close it. So, um, so one tip is if you have a lot of gadgets and a lot of utensils and you have a small space, then uh, consider pulling out the stuff that you don't use on a frequently basis. Frequently, yeah, frequently, that doesn't make sense. Pull out the stuff that you don't use very often. So that might be like a melon baller or that might be a, um, like a lime juicer or a um, creme brulee torch, like stuff that you use maybe once or twice a year or maybe three times a year. Pull that stuff out, put it in a shoebox, and put it on or put it inside of a cabinet at the very top of your kitchen or put it at the top of the pantry um, somewhere where you know it still exists but it's not taking up valuable real estate space inside of your kitchen drawer. So, um, so anyways, that's my tip for organizing your kitchen utensils and kitchen gadgets. If you have a, um, a video that you want to share with us on another cool way to organize them, leave a video response or um, tell us in the comments below. And, and yeah, that's everything I have for you guys. Uh, I will see you guys soon. Bye.